Hello there and thank you for returning to the clinic for your eye pressure assessment. As previously they were a little bit high and I appreciate you coming back this evening just to have them double checked. So before we get to it I'm just going to explain how the test works. So using the model eye here as a demonstration tool, we are going to be popping an eye drop that's going to spread across the cornea, an eye drop that is going to anaesthetize the cornea here. So you won't feel any sensation for about 20 minutes. And as the drop gets to work, we will be using a little applicator or probe to applanate the front surface of the cornea very delicately and for just a brief amount of time. And as contact is made, I can then check the pressure reading using so that is how the test will work. Just ensure that you don't rub your eyes afterwards. Okay, so this is the Perkins tonometer. We just turn it on. It emits a blue light here. We have a clean sterilized tonometer probe just on the front there which is perfectly aligned. Looking at the little marking there. We have a headrest here for support when performing the tonometry it locks into place there. I have my scale here for checking the eye pressure. Units are millimeters of mercury. I have my viewing window here where I will be looking at the myers that are produced and just trying to align them to obtain the pressure reading. And in the base here, that is where the batteries are housed to give power to the Perkins. Okay, so we should pop some anaesthetic drops into your eyes now. So the drops do tingle at first, they sting slightly. They also have some yellow dye within them, which is excited by the blue light emitted from the Perkins to help visualize the Myers. So if you could look up for me, I'm going to lower the lid, place a drop in each eye. Looking high as you can. Excellent. Take a few blinks. Okay, looking up again. I'll pop a drop in the left eye. Excellent. Now just take a few blinks once more. And we'll get the Perkins set up. I'm just going to make a few pre -checks. Oh, 
excellent. Okay, so before the probe touches the front of the eye, it's important to know that you have to breathe normally. Keep both eyes open at all times and just try and relax. The drops will have worked on the cornea now and you shouldn't feel any pain or discomfort whatsoever. So you'll feel the headrest. Just press delicately against the forehead. And I may just move this forward a little bit and use my hands for support as well. Okay, so looking straight. Okay, and blink. Good. And we have a reading of 14 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so the eye pressure has reduced a little bit somewhat from the readings yesterday. Hands another little clean. Just going to double check the results. But this time we're going to use the Retro Perkins model here. This is the Retro Perkins. As you can see, we have the base again, which houses the batteries. We have the scale here, which will read off to obtain the pressure reading. We have a clean tonometer probe there, just in place. We have your cobalt blue light emission source there. We have the viewing window. There is the viewing window. And we have the headrest support. So it's very similar to the newer model. Not much variation really, except the scale. We have to rotate in the opposite direction. So we move this down to go up rather than up to go up on the other Perkins. Okay, so we'll just do a few pre-checks. We'll start at 12 mil of mercury, which was the reading we had, or 13, which is what we had in the right eye previously. Just looking up again, I'm going to apply another drop of anaesthetic in the eye. Take a blink. Looking up again. a few pre-checks just to ensure we are where we want to be checking that the boy prism is aligned horizontally there can you see the boy prism there it goes okay we are secure we have the correct reading there on the scale, the correct starting point. And again, we'll use the headrest against the forehead. So just looking straight. Okay. 
blink and we'll bring it just delicately against the corner okay good looking at the scale there we have a reading of 12 millimeters of mercury excellent and just the same for the left eye now good look straight blink and we'll bring it just against the corner Excellent, so minimal contact there. Good. Again, 14 mil of mercury. Excellent. Okay, so we have recorded, checked the IRPs there. Now it's very important to check that we haven't caused any staining on the cornea which is to say we have to make sure that we haven't scratched, abraded or damaged the epithelial surface of the cornea. So we need to use the blue light on the ophthalmoscope just to ensure that the cornea is intact before you leave. Thermoscope up here. Just want you to look over my shoulder, over my right shoulder. Let's come a little bit closer, shan't be too long. Just want to ensure that there's no stained areas on the right cornea there. I'm checking all five zones. I'll go take a blink. Good. So the cornea and the right eye, twice applanated, but no signs of any abrasions, staining, no epithelial superficial defects there, good. Okay, just looking over my left shoulder this time, come closer, take a blink, and we'll check the integrity of the left checking all five sounds, recording the type of staining if present, checking the depth, or certainly checking depth on the slit lamp if necessary, that appears clear that So this concludes your evening intraocular pressure assessment. The pressures have come down a little bit, so I think I'm going to put you on a six-month recall to check everything again 